Hi guys. So in this video, we are going to look at the biology trials analysis for SPM 2022-2023, which means we are looking at the trial papers available for the trial 2022. Now, as I always begin these videos, I want to tell you that this is not a Ramalan. This is not a prediction of what is going to come up. This is simply an analysis of what has already come out in the trials this year to give you an idea of where the, the stage would be targeting the questions at. Hopefully, this translates to the exams, the actual exams as well. But this is in no way any prediction. This is simply an analysis. Right. Untuk versi bahasa Melayu, saya ada pautan dalam huraian di bawah. Boleh, nah, boleh pergi tonton, ya. But uh, for the English version, let's continue. Now, unfortunately, it's way too many chapters in biology. There's no clear trend, as you can see. I will leave this document for you to download in the link, uh, in the description below. So you can click on the link and download it. And you can have a look for yourself later on. But let's, let me just discuss with you what has uh, what keeps coming up. So we don't see any particular discernible pattern, but we can see a few, a few repeating maximum about four times, right? So we have, uh, I have done an analysis of eight papers here. Now we can see that um, this cell structure and function as well as living processes. Uh, section A, this is quite a common one. It has come out. And then uh, in section A, you will also see this one, responses in plants, your phytohormones, your auxin and all that. Uh, application of phytohormones. Again, you can see phytohormones here. Section A, all right, so phytohormones. Uh, Inheritance is one that is come out almost has come out almost every paper. So inheritance, let's look at the first paper. It's come out here, mixed together with variation. Here also we have inheritance. Again we have inheritance, and uh, <coughs> there's a mix. Excuse me, it's a mix between dihybrid and monohybrid. Inheritance has come out, and then once again uh, you will see in these papers we have inheritance here. Inheritance here. So inheritance seems to be a popular theme this year. Once again, this is not a prediction, right? But you can see that it's coming out quite a bit. So I would advise you to make sure you remember how to draw your schematic diagram for inheritance, whether it's dihybrid or monohybrid, and make sure you know how to count the probability as well of each phenotype. Okay, and then for the... All right, and then if you look at the... The systems, eh? uh, homeostasis and urinary system has come out a few times. Okay, homeostasis and urinary system. Another system that keeps popping up, and uh, this one is this one is a proper trend. We can see a lot of chapter 12 coordination and response in humans. So we can see it here, here. I've also included the subtopic for you so you can look at it for yourselves. But it's not very helpful because basically all of it has come out, different, different topics of the same topic. This one also is in almost every paper. And the most important thing about this coordination and response is that uh, you can see there's a lot of it in section B, yeah? which means 20 marks there, okay? And another one that keeps coming out in section B, you can see is variation as well. So variation, please remember the comparison of the two variation. Okay, so remember, memorize the comparison, make sure you know how to do a comparison table for variation. Um, okay, so the systems, I just want to focus on systems. Transport system came out I think twice only, right? Movement of substance across the plasma membrane, usually a popular question. This year, not so much. Movement of substance, we have two. Uh, not so much. And the one, another one that's not so much is from five chapter one, organization of plant tissue and growth. Eh? We have one, two, and this is 
part of another question, half a question. Uh, okay, yeah, three, all right. Okay, now, sexual reproduction, the gigantic topic. So this one in flowering plants, right? Let's look at the plants one first, because that's the one that's more common. Sexual reproduction in flowering plants, pollination and fertilization. Please remember, you know how to do your double fertilization. Here again, pollination, uh, pollination and fertilization, as well as development of seeds and fruits. Again, here. So this is another trend. Once again, this is quite popular in section B. Right? Sexual reproduction in flowering plants. Now, the most difficult topic your chapter 15 and form 5 has only appeared three times here. But the problem is, it's in section B. Menstrual cycle is involved there. Eh? As well as development of fetus. And we have it in section C. So this is the difficult one. If it comes out in section C, there's no way for you to avoid it. Right? So there's one in section C. Okay, so at least please be familiar with menstrual cycle. And uh, development of human fetus seems to be a theme here. Growth in humans and animals. So different from okay, so uh, inheritance again here. So inheritance, you can see the theme, uh, inheritance, variation, right? Um, sexual reproduction, flowering plants. And then we have your coordination and response. That's the one that is asked quite a bit. Okay, biodiversity, not too much. Uh, movement of substances again here. Mm, all right. Digestion was also asked quite a few times. Huh? If you're looking at the systems, so let me show you again. Okay, look at this. Digestion. This is in section uh, section C, one in section C. Digestion again, but this one they asked in combination. Like, Right, so in combination, I put it there for you as well. Digestion again. You can see digestion quite a few times. Digestion, digestion. Uh, okay, yes, digestion is done. All right. Okay, guys. So I hope this helps you. Huh? So all the best to you. Please make sure you are not expecting all of this to come out. Only all of this to come out. Huh? Please be prepared, but I know biology, there's just way too many topics. So that's why I came up with this. Okay, hopefully um, this will help you in your preparation process. And all the best to you guys. Just do your best. Don't worry about the rest. See you guys in the next video.